I am um, delighted to be joined by 2018 champion Georgia Hall. Georgia, welcome to the AIG Women's Thank Open you. here at Muirfield, of course. You've had a chance to play the links in the Pro-Am today. What were your thoughts? Yeah, um, obviously I didn't really know what to expect uh, coming here. Never been here before, but um, it was super windy today, so really got to play the course as hopefully it will be uh, in the next few days. Um, course is in really good condition and uh, definitely some trick holes out there, so looking forward to playing tomorrow. Of course, you finished runner-up in the championship last year and, and you were the champion in 2018. What would it mean to you to engrave your name on, on that um, beautiful trophy again? Yeah, I mean, obviously it was the best moment in my career and um, my aim is to always win as many of um, these Opens as possible, uh, especially on big championship courses like this one. Um, it's, yeah, my highlight of the year playing this event, so um, always a lot of confidence going in and uh, I really enjoy the week. Do we have any questions from the floor? Yeah, Martin. Georgia, your record on classic Lynx courses is tremendous. I mean, how much confidence does that give you going into this week? Yeah, I mean, loads. I couldn't um, come into a tournament with more confidence than this one, for sure. Um, playing at home in front of home crowds, um, having a lot of people here that you know I'm close to as well. And, um, yeah, playing this, this type of course uh, suits me very well, I think. Um, I don't get to play it much, uh, only you know, twice a year, so really excited and um, I just really enjoy it more than anything because I'm at home. Obviously this is the first AIG Women's Open here, can you just talk about coming through the gates for the first time, what the welcome's been like so far this week? Yeah, I uh, know it's been really good, um, like I say I didn't know what to expect, I've heard really good things about the course um, and it is really good, um, but yeah, just... I think everyone wants to win here, especially because it's the first women's professional event that we're playing in, so um, definitely a good one to win this year, especially. Thank you. The uh, celebration of champions a couple of weeks ago in St. Andrews, what sticks with you as like the sharpest memory? What do you think of when you think back to a couple of weeks ago? Um, yeah, I mean, all of it was just, it went by far too quickly for me. Um, but meeting Tiger on the putting green before I teed off was probably the highlight for me. I'd, I was very nervous um, and uh, I really wanted to hit driver off the first because it was obviously the ball was teed up higher, but I had to hit three woods. So I was just hoping I didn't top it. So uh, I was yeah, very happy with um, how I played and to play against like with all those people and to be in that group was just such an honor. So of course, very thankful to the RNA for letting me be involved in that. And then the other question is just about money. Like, when you're playing a golf tournament, do you ever think about money during the golf tournament? Do you think about it before or after? When does it come into your mind? Um, no, I don't at all. Um, when I won this four years ago, um, as soon as I picked the ball out the hole, I just thought I'd won the biggest event. I never thought about that until maybe the evening where I'd, I didn't even know how much I won. I'd, I wasn't interested. I just wanted to win um, the AIG Women's Open. So... Uh, and I also, it's, it's great to, to have that as a professional golfer. It helps me travel around the world and it gives me a better, well, easier life. Maybe not better, but easier. Um, but I do it for competing against the best in the world and bettering myself as a, as a golfer and seeing what I can do. Question for Matt. Hi, Georgia. Um, ahead Hi. of Lytham, uh, Tom Lehman gave you some good advice about core strategy. I was just wondering if you, you managed to chat to anybody up at St Andrews about taking on Muirfield and uh, did anybody pass on any tips? Um, fortunately not this year, no I haven't. Um, I mean they all know that when I chatted to Roaring Tiger that uh, the women were coming here. Um, but no I haven't this time, uh, I haven't got no messages from Tom either so we'll see how this week goes. I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> Martin? in recent years as well you've played at Troon for the first time this event played at Troon for the first time how important is this journey that the Women's Open is on and is there any time earlier in your career that you felt that you were being held back from not getting into clubs etc and did that disturb you? Yeah um, I'm lucky enough I haven't really had that issue um, growing up 
Um, but I think it's so important that the women are here this week. It makes such a mark on women's golf, and um, AIG and RNA have done a fantastic job working together to get the championship here, and it just keeps elevating um, this tournament and what it's needed with the increased prize funds over the last couple of years. Um, Walton Heath next year and St Andrews coming up soon, so we've got really big, and Pebble Beach um, at US Open next year, so I think the women's game is definitely in the best position it's ever has been, and I'm very happy to be kind of in the middle of my career doing that. Thanks. In the few days you've been around this property, has there been anything that surprised you that is different than maybe what you heard or expected? Um, what, well, what I have heard, they don't have a pro shop. So that's, I don't know, I find that a bit weird. But um, I think you've got to go to Garland Pro Shop to get Muirfield. Is that, I think that's right, Muirfield like product. Um, but I hopefully have a merchandise tent for the spectators. So. Uh, yeah, but apart from that, it's, it's very historic and which I love, very old, very, you know, I mean, it's just, it's great just to be here. So um, that's what I love most about links and open venues is when you walk down 18, the clubhouse is normally almost behind the 18th green. It's such, it's so good for spectators uh, viewing it as well. Happy to confirm we do have a merchandise shop for well, spectators, <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> Uh, Georgia, hi. I'm, I'm sure you watched the football on Sunday, did you? Uh, no, I was driving from the Scottish Open to here, oh, unfortunately. But you, you kept in touch with it? Yeah, 2-1, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think a British winner here would do for raising the profile of women's sport um, in the UK generally? Yeah, um, obviously it would be amazing. Um, I think when I won as well, you know, four years ago, it really elevated... Um, golf in the UK and women playing it. Um, obviously the idea is for younger girls to get into the game and to make golf aware to other people watching it and I think obviously the coverage this week is going to be very big in the UK. Um, but obviously yeah, anyone that wins their home event is really big for the, for the home country. Um, and we have some really strong players, um, probably better than ever as well, competing this week and um, yeah, hopefully one of us We'll do it. <laughs> right. Do we have any final questions for Georgia? Oh, yep. Just one here and at the back here. Yep. You can go first in the book. Uh, <laughs> I was just curious if you could fancy a guess at what the final score would be and if there's any reason why we should even worry about that. Um, to be honest, I haven't thought about it. I'm not one to really think about, you know, what I, I even want to score tomorrow. Um, it really all does depend on the weather. Um, but it, this is a type of golf course that um, can be very, very tricky um, in places as well. It's very sneakily tricky. Off the tees, it, it looks quite easy. But then when you get closer to the green with the pot bunkers, it, it can be quite hard. Um, so I don't want to say a score because I could be miles out. All right, bad question then. Um, is there a stretch of holes you think that are particularly tricky? Some part of this golf course yeah. that catches your eye? Um, well, I think um, there's going to be this very similar wind all week. So I've played it where I think the wind's going to be. 14-15, um, I've had uh, driver three wood into two par fours, which is, they are, I think, very tricky. Um, obviously, 18 is a long hole as well, driver four iron in. Um, so I think the last four, five, six holes are the, are the trickiest and I think they should be and it will um, be a great closing holes for whoever's kind of leading. You definitely need to kind of stay fairly aggressive, I think. We'll go with Martin and then Chris. Georgia, this question would have been asked by now if, if this was in England. Have you been inspired by the event at Wembley last weekend? I won't, I won't mention the country. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, any time, um, you know, it, England uh, do well um, in any type of sport, especially women. It's you know, fantastic to see, and obviously they've got loads of coverage. So um, I just think, yeah, the better us uh, British golfers can do, um, the more it inspire others. And, um, you know, when I was younger, I had a couple that I looked up to, and I think that's very important for the younger generation. Chris. Uh, George, you've talked about your confidence level in this event and the fact that it's the biggest event of the year for you. How satisfying is it for you that in previous years you've been able to deal with the expectation and, and the pressure and deliver yeah. when, when it is such an important event for you? Yeah, um, yeah, last five years I've 
I've been first, second, third here, so uh, obviously very confident. Um, last year as well, just lose, well, losing by one, um, had a great final round. Uh, I don't really feel um, much pressure in this event, to be honest. Uh, I just feel very happy to be playing at home, and I just try and take advantage as much as I can and really enjoy having... You now, when I walk on the first tee tomorrow, I'm sure there'll be lots of people watching, and I'm just really happy to get that support from my home crowd and really appreciate it because I don't get a lot of that in, in the US and that's where I played the majority of my golf. So, um, yeah, just more, I, I really enjoy it and therefore play better, I think. Excellent, Georgia. Well, we thank you for your time today and we wish you the best of luck this week. Thank you. Yes.